Hi, my name is Dr. Russell Betts. I'm the Chief Scientist here at Go Chemless, and today's video is entitled, Less is Healthy. Now, what do we mean by that here at Go Chemless? What we're referring to is that backyard chemical soup that you have called your swimming pool, and all the chemicals that have to go into, it, go into that pool just to keep it, you know, free of contaminants and at least swimmable. That laundry list is written here on the, written here on the board, and as you can see, there's a lot going on. You have to maintain your pH at between 7.4 and 7.6, which is not always easy to do. Your total alkalinity must remain between 80 and 120 parts per million. You must have at least 4 parts per million chlorine. You have to add cyanuric acid so that you can prevent your chlorine from deteriorating rapidly. Some people add trichlor to try to help you know, make the pool more convenient, but that doesn't really work. You have to add HCl to monitor the pH, uh, to adjust the pH. You have to add dry acid if you can't use HCl. You have to use sodium bicarbonate to adjust the pH the other way if it goes too low. This just adds up to a very inconvenient way of maintaining your pool. It's also known that this concoction of chemicals, this chemical soup, if it's, if it's mixing with organic materials such as you, can cause health problems. This is really not a good way to maintain your pool. This is the old-fashioned way, and there is a much more modern, safer, more convenient way to keep your pool safe. Now, this is a lot. Let's take a look at the more modern way of taking care of your backyard pool, and that's by using a biosanitizer pool. In a biosanitizer pool, you still have to use a little bit of chlorine, around 0.4 parts per million. Now, if you compare that now to a traditional chlorinated pool, you're at four parts per million. That's substantially more, more chlorine than, than a biosanitizer would use, and you can actually taste the chlorine in a chlorinated pool. We all know that. We've all tasted it. In a biosanitizer pool, the chlorine level is so low, you can't taste it. The copper and the silver levels are very low. Copper comes in at 0.3 to 0.4 parts per million. Silver comes in much lower than that at 30 to 40 parts per billion. These levels are so low you will not taste any metallic flavors in your water and you certainly will not taste the chlorine. For those of you who may have forgotten some of your high school chemistry, a part per million is one milligram per liter and a part per billion is one microgram per liter. We're talking about very small quantities of material here you will not taste it and you will enjoy your backyard pool more immense, intensely because you won't have to deal with the chlorine smell, you won't have the chlorine flavor, you won't have the chlorine feel on your skin, your clothes will last longer, your kids eyes won't burn. There's a lot of things that the chlorine pools will do to you that a biosanitized pool will not. Consider the health reasons. Using a lot of chlorine in your pool will, will generate the trihalomethanes. Trihalomethanes, if you will recall, are very bad for you. They've, been contributed, they've contributed to things like miscarriages, stillbirths, and rectal and bladder cancer. They're very bad for you. A biosanitizer pool is more convenient. A biosanitizer pool does not require you to chase the pH. Recall, in a chlorinated pool, you must maintain your pH at 7.4 to 7.6. This is mandatory to make this material work. If this chlorine is not maintained at that pH, it is ineffective. Your pool will become uh, a, much, a much nastier environment to swim in and chlorine just can't do its work. In a biosanitizer pool, you set the, the device up, it will run, the pH will normally fall between 7.9 and 8, which is right around the same pH as the ocean. The ocean's around 8 to 8.1. A biosanitizer pool will naturally fall into that pH range and you don't have to do anything to it to keep it there. Again, my name is Dr. Russell Betts. I'm the Chief Scientist here at Go Chemless. And I, in this video, I'm sure that you've come to the same conclusion I have, that a backyard chlorinated swimming pool is not only dangerous, but is very inconvenient. And a biosanitizer pool is a much safer, convenient, more effective way of maintaining your, your pool's swimmability, as well as making it much more convenient for you to use. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and I invite you to watch any of the number of videos we have posted on our website at gochemless.com. Thank you.